do you guys have um like marketing uh, budgets? Like, I, cause I'm thinking about regular businesses or entrepreneurs marketing and yeah, getting but that's, you. That's also why you buy into a franchise because they have marketing budgets. Hmm. What kind of marketing does Seven Eleven do? I've and never seen. And a that's another thing. Does Seven Eleven really have to do any marketing? Nah. Sometimes they do. Like sometimes you do see it. Like if you're on social media, you'll see it a lot. Um, but the thing about it is, is that so McDonald's, everybody has the same exact food. Like there's nothing that you can opt in or opt out of. Yeah. 7-Eleven, you could go to one store and it have cherry and pina colada Slurpee. And then you go to the next store and it has blueberry and banana Slurpee. Like there's so many different options of so many different 7-Elevens that if you can't, you, it's really hard to advertise something that isn't a generic thing of 7-Eleven because mm. there's so many different options that we as franchisees are given to make. Oh, Okay. Oh, okay. So if you go to one seven eleven, it's not guaranteed that to be at everyone, correct? Yeah, like they can um. have they can have egg rolls at one and I can't stand the egg rolls at seven eleven, so I'm not selling them. So then they get on T V and they advertise egg rolls and somebody walk into my establishment mad because there's no egg rolls. It's because I can make seven eleven has a lot of variety and a lot of flexibility. Um, and so they kind of they kind of they do they do some advertisement, but they kind of leave it up to the franchisee as well to do our own advertisement. So that's why you see me so much on social media. That's why you see me so much in the community. Like that's that's literally why you see me a hundred percent is because like I'm out here. Mm-hmm. Like that's how I'm gonna make my Seven Eleven different from every other Seven Eleven. Yeah. Mm, okay. And comedians, when y'all come to the Arlington Improv. Go to her store, buy your condoms, buy your, your Swisher Sweets or whatever else y'all getting. Yeah. Go to her yeah, 7-Eleven. It's right on Madlock. It's across the street from the Arlington Improv. It is. Shout out to Lunell. She came by. Yeah. Um, and she's a, she's a very nice and supportive person of me. Mm. So I love her dearly. Um, and so she shouts me out whenever she's in the area. So shout out to her. Um, and whoever else wants to come by too, we're there. Yeah. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start because before this, I never knew there was a black woman running both those stores, and so now when my friends come in in town, I'm gonna start making sure that they come and say what's up. Yeah, they need yeah. to. That's yeah, that's how that's how we keep this thing going. Yeah, and are those Seven Eleven products that's in there, um, are those? Does Seven Eleven make those, or they just yes. package those? Nope, Seven Eleven. 7-Eleven, and I think, and I and I hate to talk so much about 7-Eleven because sometimes I love them and sometimes I can't stand them. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> just to be honest, but um, 7-Eleven does put a lot of pride and care into the things in which they make. So when you walk in and you just see a hot dog on there, what you don't know is over the last month they've changed that hot dog ingredient they've changed that hot dog size they've changed the the everything of the hot dog four times just to be a one that salsa that's in the condiment bar they literally have chefs that come in that make four different salsas and they do a taste testing at corporate to make to see which one everybody likes the most and that's the one they put in they are very very serious about their food um and so when people just say like oh it's just a it's just a uh 7-eleven or it's just gas station food it's not they have a state-of-the-art kitchen in the state-of-the-art corporate building that they have. It's huge. Really? It's, the kitchen is probably as big as this building. It's huge. And they, they have people with master's degrees. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. And I don't like to toot the horn of them so much. But I will say on the food side, um, I am very impressed as to what 7-Eleven has done. Really? Yes. And they are a stickler about <clears throat> their food. Because. And so and, and inside the story, and that's just to tell you inside the story, that I don't do nothing but 7-Eleven products. Mm, okay. Because I know some of them pizzas that be sitting out. That's on, that's on franchisees. But the pizza is, probably, the pizza is actually ranked with Pizza Hut Pizza and Domino's Pizza. Mm. Um, and so it's it's ranked very, very high. Have you ever had a fresh 7-Eleven pizza? That's the only pizza I ever eat, ever. Go inside and tell them you want a whole 7-Eleven pizza for $7, and I promise you, you will never eat another pizza a day. Really? I promise you. I think the only thing and they've changed that pizza a hundred times over the year to make sure that it's fluffy enough. It's thick enough. It has enough cheese. It lasts. It lasts long enough. It's hot enough. It, 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 everything is just down to a T. Um, and so that's the one thing that I can stand by 7-Eleven and say is that like they really do care about the food within their store. 
Now mm. that's on the franchisee if they want to leave the, the food in there for two plus hours. Yeah. Okay. But at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, you're more than welcome to ask them to make you a fresh anything. Really? Yeah. And and are those those personal ones? Or are you talking about like a big, a big large pizza, seven dollars? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So we I probably should start ordering pizzas from Seven Eleven. Should then. pizzas, wings? I I would I don't I don't say don't eat. I say try it all because a lot of thought and a lot of um, science is behind every little bit of it. Hmm. And this is coming from somebody who does not like to toot the horn of Seven <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. So, <laughs> so what I'm telling you is, is that like it really, it really is a value. Okay.